Okay, so when we're tying our strings on, the strings are already cut into length for you. But can you see the end of it is a little bit frayed? It's a bit fuzzy. That's gonna make it quite hard to get through the holes. So what you need to do is with a pair of scissors is just cut it back to where it's not fuzzy or frayed anymore. Then you want to thread it through the hole like this and pull it till both of them are the same length. Can you see that? Okay, now this is how we do it. So I want you to have a go. Two pieces together. We're going to make a loop around your finger. Can everyone see I've made a loop there? Yeah. Then you want to put the ends of the threads back up through the loop. It's a little bit fiddly with your fingers and grab them. Then you want to hold both ends and we pull. But before we're going to do that, there's one other thing we need to do, which is we need to put the, char uh, the wind chime on. So this is a bit trickier. The hole is smaller and it's got to go through to the other side as well. So we're going to poke it through. Might take a little bit of jiggling around. Mm. There it is. I'm going to grab it with my fingers and pull it through. Okay. Then I do the knot. So remember, two ends together. We're going to twist it to make a loop. We are going to put the ends through the middle of the loop. Grab the ends and grab the bottom and pull. And then you'll have your loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it up so that the knot's at the top like that. And we're going to do that for these ones. And then the top one doesn't need a charm because that's just what you hang it from. Okay. It is a little bit tricky. Just remember, and I'll do it a bit bigger with my magic rope. So you can see me tie the knot. Okay. So I'm going to cut this so I can show you. So it's thicker, you'll be able to see how I tie the knot. So I actually put the ends together, make sure they're the same length. I make a loop. Can you all see the loop? Yeah. I get the ends of the thread and put them up through the loop. And then I pull in both up and down. And there's my knot. Okay. So we're going to have a go. We can help each other. I can come around and help you as well. Okay. So I'm going to give you your work. The next thing that you can do once you've done all your charms is we're going to write your name. Can you see I've written my name nice and neatly here? Yeah. So you want to write your name and your grade nice and neatly along one edge. It doesn't matter which side. I just decided to choose the lighter, the brighter, warm colour side because the name would stand out a bit better. And then once you've done that, you can add some little detail. I want you to be very considered. So I don't want to see just scribbling. But I want you to consider, and I decide to put some lines going out here. I'm going to go right around just to add to my design. So here I did the painting on this side so I can turn it over and I'm going to do some wiggly lines through it as well just to make outline. it stand up. Yeah, just a bit of outline. And then I might do a cool kind of pattern around the edge as well. Okay. So once you've done your tying and then the last thing, I'm going to give you a peg and when we're finished and we can hang them all up along the lines in the art room. And they'll look beautiful and they'll sound beautiful too.